Ladies and gentlemen, how you done? We're back again. This will be video three. My name is Billy Carrington. You're entitled to know a little something about me. I'm from Princeton, Kentucky. Beautiful. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we've already gone through the first stage. These first stages are the ones that usually take so long since so much info to, to put in and you're trying to get your mindset. Because once I get your mindset on becoming a sales manager, whatever, management, once you get focused on that and you see what I'm saying, the words I'm saying, then you'll come more believing the other steps that we're going to go through. Because when I started out, I started out at the bottom, even though I had some great people working with me. But they were telling me how it was going to look when I got to the top. And trust me, I've been at the bottom, and I went to the top, and I know what it's like to be there. Now, if it's a title you're looking for, titles will come to you. It will. And you're going to receive one working with this company right off the bat. And that title there has been worn by numerous amount of great people throughout history starting out in sales and carrying that on through. And you'll be one to carry that torch next. That's why I want to, a lot of people think I'm a little bit stricter than a lot of other managers or whatever you want to call it. I'm just a, a motivational person. I'm, just, I'm a person, when people ask what, what's actually my title, I don't really have a title. I just, I like to motivate people. I like to train people to become great at being you, being yourself. That's what I want you to do. I just want you to be great at being you. Whatever it's going to be, whatever you're going to be in life, just be great at it. Be willing to help others. Because when I tell you, I don't want you to be rich. I want you to be wealthy. And by being wealthy, you're getting it all. You're getting the whole picture. You get to where you're comfortable being in your own skin. You feel great getting up in the mornings and saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day in creation. I get another day of being able to help somebody out I get to be in the big picture. So, if it's a title you're looking for, you'll have them. Whatever it is you get focused on, you'll become. So, right now, you're going to receive a title, you're going to be a sales rep. Or sales personnel, or whatever, whatever, Rick, whatever the business owner that you're working for, whatever he decides, he or she decides that, you, that they want to place you in. And that's what you'll go with. But as you go through life, remember, help as many as you can along. Grab them and say, hey, i got a secret. I'm going to tell you a little secret about life. Teach them. Become a great teacher. I mean, my goodness. People like, life is amazing. Now, I don't want to get too far off there, but I've got to stay focused on one thing that's training you in sales. But along the way, I'm going to also teach you how to manage. And I'm also going to teach you how to motivate others. Because you're going to motivate the people you're going to be selling to. You're going to build that enthusiasm. I want you to build that inside of you. So, in the first video we talked about was doing what? What you were trained through life. What your parents, your grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers, sisters, that whatever you picked up through life, buddies, girlfriends, whatever you picked up through life, you're carrying it through. And, and you're, you're becoming who you are up to this point. Now at this point, you're going to become something else. Because at this point, is a turning, a turning point in your life. Because from here on, you're going to look at life totally different. You already are, and I know you are. Because once I started catching all this and understanding it, and taking notes and reading books and going to seminars and networking and, and taking on responsibilities. Well, I found out that it wasn't that horror story that I learned five years ago. What people were telling me. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to take on that responsibility. No, no, no. Excuse me. And then when I, when I talk to people's inmates or, or supervisors, I say, you know, how it is to be where you're at? Oh, you don't want this headache. No, you want to stay where you're at. No responsibility. Just show up for work. I thought, man, something's not right with this picture. But I kept watching. 
And over the years, I kept looking, and it didn't take me long. I decided what I wanted, and I went for it. I started out at the bottom, and I went all the way up. I've held it all titles all the way up. It's not bragging. I've done it I, from a, from being a laborer, a supervisor, a manager, general manager, marketing director, networking, vice president of corporate development, branch manager in Puerto Rico, foreman in Texas, CEO, chairman and CEO of one company. So trust me, I know how it is to have the titles and, and have those titles. But through it all, when I learned, I, I carried with me from the very beginning, is if I teach somebody the right way, then that saves my time, and I can work, use that time to work with somebody else. You see what I'm saying? You want to use all your time and keep it valuable. If you're sleeping over six hours, this might not be where you want to be, because if you're sleeping that long, or six hours or longer, you're, you're not really focused yet. Because when you get hungry, when you get hungry for life, sleep, you just won't exist because you're going to start looking at the figures. You're going to start getting your game playing that. You're going to say, okay, look, I know this business. I got these over here. these code calls here. You know, get excited about life. Okay, then my wife wants to do this on this time. And then, okay, and remember I told you, said sit codes. You put down, you want to go on vacation with your wife. You want to take your wife out to eat at a certain restaurant. You want to start setting goals, man. Start out with simple goals. Work your way up. Well, give me some goals. I don't need no, I don't know no goals. If you don't know no goals, you're at the right place. So I'll give you some goals. And I want you to reach them. I'm going to help you get there. I'm not going to run you off. Because if I don't teach you properly, that will reflect back on me. So I want you to learn as we go, but I don't want it to be where you just say, well, I went into this one place and got this job. No. You're going to present yourself. You're going to become a brand of your own. When I'm talking to you, and it's Billy Carrington talking to you, and you're talking to Billy Carrington, you are already forming your brand from the time we interviewed to the time you sat down at these tapes. If I was there now, you would already be transforming. You are, and I'm not there. You're already setting goals. If anybody came back and said, hey, man, I'm not into this and left, then I, I hate that for them. But they'll come back. Trust me, if somebody gives up, they'll come back because there's one thing. It's called hunger. You get excited about something, you're going to stay. And uh, what I was telling you about, uh, about uh, having titles, now as you go through, as you go through these steps, you're going to see people, and then they're going to sit there and they're going to say, hey, look, man, I, you know, I've been watching you. Uh, a buddy of mine told me about you. He said you come by every so often, and they're, they're called headhunters. And they get paid bonuses to bring new salespeople in or to bring in sales managers. So if you want a title, you're going to get it. Just do me one favor. If somebody tries to negotiate with you, do me one favor. Don't run out on me. Just come in and talk to me. Say, hey, look, Bill, I, you know, this guy shot a deal over here, and I think about going with it. Well, let's both look at it. If I haven't got nothing to put on the table to, so where you can advance, or, or maybe an extra benefit or, or maybe an extra commission or a bonus for you to reach so where you can stay because if this person's wanting you, I've done my job. You see what I'm saying? Because you've already changed. You became something else. You're becoming you. And you're going to also do that when you get to that company. But I look at it and if they got more on the table, they're willing to let you do this, this, and this. You've already been trained Again, you went through those years, and I tweaked you. I didn't really train you. I just tweaked you to become you. You're going to look at that, and I'd like you to sit down with me. And then they'll say, okay, hey, look, that's great. Before you cut out, I'd like for you to take at least one of our people around, show them your route. Because the route, we're going to still come down that route, whether you show our person or not, because basically I know where you're going to be, because I keep maps. <laughs> When, I, when I'm down there, if I'm down there, uh, and, and, uh, whoever's going to be in my position down there, keep maps. Uh, now, uh, real quick, if you're going to attack Atlanta, take it from the inside out and the outside in. Because you want to get them going and coming. 
and then you bring your sales reps on the outside, you bring them in the ring and bring them straight in and let them implode, let the inside sales reps explode out. Because if you go through, you're going to be communicating with one another. You're not going to walk over each other, but you're going to communicate. Because along the way, you're not going to close everybody. I wish you would for your own sake, but also for the company's sake. But along the way, you're going to close big part of it. So if you explode out, the other sales reps are imploding. So they're going to be catching and, and losing. And then as maybe they didn't close on somebody, but maybe you'll be able to close going back. So you guys are going to cross paths, but you're not going to go back and probably hit the same customer. Because after you get out and you've done your thing, you're going to reverse it and come right back again. And that's the way it's going to be if we go attack other cities. And I say attack. You know, I, I use a lot of expressions like military expressions and, and, and it's to reach out and, and uh, <laughs> I think it's a military thing I'm up. Anyway, yeah, reach out and to, uh, to uh, people in front of comfort. But uh, to go to the next city and, and start a business there and reach out in sales and market. Okay, so anyway, uh, like I say, as we go through and, and you, you set your goals, we talked about it in sales, and uh, there's a, a nice little uh, video I, I made up on how to uh, how to be able to, uh, to go in <coughs> and greet and greet uh, the uh, the manager in that scenario. You were meeting a manager. Now, uh, what I want you to do, is, like I said, we talked about how you dress. It's a big key thing. Uh, like I say, I do want you dressing in, in ties, gentlemen. Uh, I want you dressing in suit and ties. Uh, for summer, keep it light. Uh, have your, uh, if you're going in to meet the people right off the bat, wear your jacket in. Shirt tails tucked in, ties on, ready, proper print, ready to go. Ladies, same way with you. Shoes shining. Dresses here. No low cut blouses. Can't have it. I want you, you're a professional, that's why I want you to see. Dark colored looking stockings. Same way with a gentleman, dark socks. Because see, if you're going to present yourself, you're going to represent this company. And they're all going to look and see how each one of you are playing along with the mission. You're going to have, everybody's going to be dressed similar. That way you represent the company, you represent yourself. You're a part of this team. This team is an excellent team. This team is a team that, that just goes and, and just keeps going. They'll start to talk about you. And they'll start to tell other people about you. And that's what you keep doing. And you don't, if you're around a customer, you never, ever put down another employee or salesperson, whether they're good or bad. You never put them down in front of anybody. Not even when you're joking. If you're in, in, the, in the room in here and you're joking amongst each other, I may let a little of that slap, but I ain't going to let it slap alone. Because you're a team. On this team, we work together. We help everybody. We're going to have some great things in the, in the works. I know, I know, Rick, and for you to be able to reach out and set a goal, and there will be, be a bonus or something tied to it. Uh, also, uh, in that, uh, I don't suggest have one person to reach that goal because I've done that in the past and it's left the other team members all the way up. Everybody's doing great. How close am I? You know, hey, 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 Billy, uh, am I almost there? How many sales I got to get to get to this point? Okay, and then I mean, everybody was in that race and got on board for the race for the final thing because at the final it was going to be great. You know, just get to it. But then once you got there, only one person took it. But one and one person got it, and that left the whole team sitting there going, well, I didn't get this. Yeah. They're all down, one person's up. i got to have the whole team up. So I set goals for the whole team. That way, ain't nobody trying to cut somebody else's neck. You need that team player to be in there, because if we reach a certain goal, we're going somewhere. We've already been told that's a bonus for us. So let's get up. You know, if you fall in that ditch, let me get you up out of there, because I need you. I need you on my team. You know, you're a band of brothers and sisters. You are on the same team. The ones you fight against is the ones out there. The ones out there trying to take your money. Remember, it's your money. If you want it, you'll get to go get it. That's what I'm going to show you. 
Now we're going to probably wrap this one up a little bit shorter. What do you think? Okay. We're, we're on, they're they're flagging me, so we're going to have to wrap this one up a little bit shorter. So we're going to take another break. But anyway, I want you I want you to go sit. I want you uh, starting to, to to think about your brand. And then I also want you uh, also remember present yourself, brush your teeth, have some fresh mints or something. Some, uh, some kind of a, a, a mouthwash to carry with you. Make sure you look for a briefcase. You get it at most of your department stores. Look for a nice one. It can be cheap. It's okay with me starting out. Just uh, while I've been talking with Rick, you're going to be fresh coming in. And when you leave, you're going to be a professional. Because that's why I'm going uh, to train you the same way I would train somebody who was going to be selling parts to the special. That's how I'm going to treat you. you know, that's how valuable you are to the team. So you're not going to have to have the same training as the same training. It's just going to be up to you whether or not you want it. Because if you want it, you put out that million dollar smile, hey, I'm here. Then you'll go for it. Then you'll get like a wild dog. And, <laughs> oh. Ah, just joking. I'll turn you loose soon. <laughs> We're gonna call. It. We're gonna wrap this up. Come back to you in a few minutes. They're waving at me. I want me to wrap it up. So we'll wrap this one up. Thank you.